What's up everybody, once again, my name is Man, and welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. In the last episode, we did 3-4 Damn Dungeon. This episode, we're doing 3-5 Itty Bitty Biters. Let's get started, man. I am excited. Like, actually, I'm not that excited, because the enemies in this level, they're really obnoxious. Like, they have the most annoying sound effect, like, ever made. Okay, maybe not ever made. There are enemies with worse sound effects, but these ones have a pretty obnoxious sound effect. Just wait till we get later on into the level. For now, though... We'll launch into the background of this dude's mouth. His teeth are kind of gross. He probably doesn't brush his teeth, but yeah. We'll jump back in here and start this little, like, bonus room. Something that I gotta say about the bonus rooms, like, although they're all the same, or they're all very, very similar and stuff like that, which really, oh no, oh no, jeez, goodness gracious, almost completely screwed that up. Alright, I'm gonna have to do this one a little bit differently now, because I sort of messed up on my timing. There we go. We'll still be able to pull this one out, but what I wanted to point out in the bonus rooms is that although they're all still, still the same and stuff like that, and there's not too much of a variety between them, they're all themed to that specific level that they're in. So that's like really, really... It's a nice touch of detail, I gotta admit. Like, when stuff... When like developers do that to their games, it's just like a nice... Like, I don't know, it gives the game a lot of like charm and stuff like that. It's a really nice touch, I gotta say. Anyways, let's get inside. So, sir, would you please open up your mouth? I want to go inside you. Thank you very much. Ooh, all right, what was that on the floor? There's one on the ceiling. I don't know what these guys are about. They're scared of us, it seems like, though. Oh, they're trying to get the drop on us. Yeah, these guys are the biters, if you can probably tell from the level name. But, like, listen to the sound effect they have. It's the most annoying thing ever. Like, there you go. Like, it might not be annoying when there's just one of them. Actually, I just passed by a secret. I'm an idiot. It might not be annoying when there's only just one of them. But when there's multiple... Oh, man, it's just not fun. So there's three banana coins up there if you really want to. And look, this guy was so bad and vicious, they had to lock him in a cage. I feel kind of sad for him, but at the same time, not at all. We have to use his cage, though, to grab this letter K. I might as well activate the vine switch while we're up here. And we'll just uh, avoid the rest of that guy. In the oh, my gosh, there's four of them in a row. My goodness, I hate these guys so much. Just die. All of you, please. What's worse is when they group together like this, like where you can't really tell where there's more than one of them. All right, over here, I believe there's a puzzle piece. There we go. We took a heart of damage. I'm almost tempted to go back and just refill on that heart that was back there. You know what? Let's do it anyways. Why not? We're already here. It's not, not going to take up too much time anyways. There's a banana coin. Don't really care about it. We already have like, what, 400 banana coins? Oh, I could have just restocked my hearts off this freaking barrel right here. Well, that was a waste of time. Uh, the big biters take two hits. So keep that in mind when you're just sort of going through here. All right, this guy needs to flip over. We need to get inside this bonus barrel right up here. Now we can get ourselves another puzzle piece. We can finish up this level rather easily. Actually, this uh, this bonus room is actually kind of nice. Nice little easy bonus room right here. Especially if you have like, Diddy Kong, it makes it a lot easier to sort of jetpack through everything, get all the bananas. I'm gonna leave that one banana down there, because why the heck not? All right, we'll just jump through the center, grab all these guys, grab everything on the top, and let's make it over there. Thank you. Sweet. All right, let's just hover down there, and uh, we'll wait for this banana. I'm not in too pressed for time anyways. There we go. Now we'll just grab this puzzle piece and get out of here. Good game, puzzle room. Good game. Nice and easy. Thankfully, those are like the hardest puzzle pieces to get in this level. Just the ones in the bonus rooms, because if you screw them up, well, you can't get them. But we've got both of them, so we are good to go. Now, this O letter, man. This O letter is a hard O letter to get. So basically, what they want you to do is roll jump right off the side, and then make sure you don't have enough momentum to like sort of launch off the platform. So this might take me a few tries. I'm going to play it a little bit safe. Oh no, that might be too much. Oh, we just barely made it back there. Good thing. Sweet. Let's just flip this guy over and launch me up to the upper layer, please. Thank you very much. And down over here, got ourselves a nice little hidden alcove with our fourth puzzle piece. Very nice. Checkpoint to level, also very nice. All right, you need to not... I forget they have like a high jump too. Gosh dang it. Oh well. Okay, I know there's another enemy around here somewhere that I don't want to... Yeah, this guy... So this guy's really annoying. They basically do this, and then you gotta sort of like watch out because they tumble over. And they have a really long reach with their tumble, so you need to be really, really quick to your dodge and sort of like do a C jump around them or what have you. They're pretty hard enemies to avoid, in all honesty. All right, let's see if we can't like get them to. We can scream at us, jump over, and high jump to that end letter. Sweet. Not too shabby. Get out of here, freaking biters! I really, really hate you guys. All right, this is an interesting one. We gotta flip over this guy. Just thinking, uh, blow out these two candles around here to get the puzzle piece in the back. Oh, we're not close enough. We'll have to wait a little bit while. Dang it! I didn't know you could hurt me on the way back down, or when you were flipping back over again. We, not, we might not even be able to get this candle, actually. Wow, that is some... 
Amazing physics right there. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna refill my Diddy hearts though, because I don't want Diddy to die. Alright, I should be able to get it this time. If I don't, that'll be utterly surprising, but there we go. And if actually, actually, oh dang it, I didn't really want to like ground pound that guy. I do want to flip him back over again because like right over here, if we roll jump, we can go in this alcove and get ourselves that sixth puzzle piece. So there we go. Now we are pretty much good to go. All we gotta do is get this G letter. So we need to high jump off of one of the enemies once they come up here. But not really high jump, you can just sort of bounce off them, I guess. That one's pretty low to the ground. And now we have pretty much the end of the level. So now we just gotta go through a, a gauntlet of these biter enemies and just sort of kill them. It's a pretty easy, wow. Come on now, man. There we go. You can actually roll into them too, so that's a pretty easy way to kill them by just like uh, rolling into them. That works out rather well for the small ones. The big ones, I'm not sure if you can roll to kill the big ones. You might not be able to. We'll find out shortly though, because we're actually going to go and fight some of the big ones. I'll use a barrel actually. Get over here, guys. Oh, well, that worked. Let's see. Oh, rolling does kill the big ones in one hit. Well, that is certainly the best tactic that you're going to use then. So just roll into everybody. That works out splendidly. Holy crap. Alright, so the very last puzzle piece, just reveal this mushroom, jump up to the top, and then all you gotta do is blow into these little flowers, and there you go, 7 out of 7 puzzle pieces, all the Kong letters. Let's just finish up this level by ground pounding, or is there a switch that I need to activate? I guess not, I mean, why isn't my ground pound working? Oh, okay, oh, we have to blow the leaves off at first, my gosh, I am so dumb, I forgot about that. Alright, there we go. Let's just finish up this level. And, ooh, we're gonna get a combo. What are we gonna get? Nine times the bananas. Alright, I will take that indeed. Sweet, so we got ourselves all the Kong letters and we got ourselves all them puzzle pieces. Nice little cherry right there. And shut up, game. Stop telling me what to do with my life. Ah, oh, that is getting so obnoxious. Alright, though, so that is gonna do it for this episode, guys. Once we get back to the world map, I'm gonna head off. So once again, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.